Friday. So I'm here for a short time today and I said I would jump on and do a work with me. So we're gonna start with my client who you guys have seen many times before, but she gets the um, hair prosthetic or hair replacement service. So we're going to prepare her hair and then we're going to put her prosthetic back on. For those of you that might be new on my channel, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Please don't forget to also hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. And just a little bit of shameless plugging. This weekend, we are still having our $10 serum sale. So our Goddess Hair Repair Serum, the Super Growth Serum, the B7 Serum, and the Frizz Control are all $10. And then we also have a sale on our Elite Clarify and our Soothe and Balance Pre-Treatment. So you are able to get any one of those products for $10 all weekend. You guys jump onto the site, EliteHairCareUSA.com to grab those products. And then we've also launched our Elite Eats products, which is the new spices to partner with the Moon Spice. So we have our adobo, we have our Jamaican jerk seasoning, which is also a dry rub, the curry powder, and then also the blackening seasoning. So all of those are available on crystalwonline.com. No code is needed. Those are also 20% off. So you guys have a lot to go do. So if you haven't already done it, go do it. Ooh, I've had them for a while. Me and my dad have the seed wine. We use it to build this house. Yeah, he's building a new house. So that's what we partner. And then he imports it. He sends it to me. And then we um, manufacture it here. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's Elite Eats, but the Moon Spice name came from my father's street name. His name was Mooney uh -huh. on the street. Oh, okay. So we call it Moon Spice because he created it. Oh. So we have a big freight container that comes with the spices, and then we do it all here. Okay. And then I'm the one that markets and brands and all that stuff. Okay. Awesome. Yes, my papa. You got so many layers, Crystal. It's like okay. an onion. Gotta be an onion, honey. <laughs> Gotta be an onion. That's entrepreneurship. Exactly. You never stop in one never, place. That's true. And build a generational wealth. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I'm making sure that my children don't ever have to say, well, we didn't have, yeah, you did. Yeah. So you've had it all, so your standard is supposed to be very high. <laughs> and you know what I mean when I say that, okay. <laughs> all right, you guys. Hi, Pac. Hey, all of my YouTube members, all of my Elite Pro Plus members. So I'm starting off by doing a um, retouch relaxer. I'm going to already give you guys a disclaimer because some of you act real slow all the time. Yes, she gets a relaxer. Yes, she has alopecia. Yes, it is scarring. No, we don't need your input. No, she does not want to go natural. No, the relaxer is not the reason why she's like this. No, it is not going to hinder anything that is not already broken. No hair will grow here because it's mostly scarred. Scarring is just like on your arms, on your legs. The difference is when you're scarred on the scalp, that is pure inflammation, and that inflammation does not change. Okay, yes, she can go to a dermatologist. Yes, she can get alternative treatments like steroid shots. But keep in mind that once you stop those shots, whatever it grew, dies. Same thing with Minoxidil or Rogaine or any one of those other programs because you know all of y'all are doctors on here all of a sudden, <laughs> okay? No, she does not want to do any of that. Yes, she loves her prosthetic. If you guys have watched this channel, you've seen her many times before. And if you notice, all of this hair that I keep relaxing continues to grow back. Any hair that's up here that was growing still grows, right? Okay, so let's just leave it there. Put the disclaimer out. Thank you. <laughs> yes, we know that they said that relaxer causes cancer. We're aware. The cotton on your shirt does too. It's fine. <laughs> you do your own. You pick your own poison. Yeah, we all. We all know that. Okay. The air you breathe by just walking outside, you can get sick. We know that too. Okay. Because I know there's gonna be several in the comments, and I can't bother with it today. <laughs> Good morning. 
Are we still having this cancer conversation? No, I'm just addressing it ahead of time because people are slow. And they just like to be heard. They said 73% of the world by 2050 is going to have cancer. Listen, Some form of cancer. let me tell you something. With the relaxer situation, there are women right now who are 90, yeah. 100, been, been getting relaxers relaxer their entire life, yet <laughs> they are outliving us yeah. who are not making it to 60. Okay? So continue to think that that is the problem. Yeah. That is the least of your worries, honey. The, the food you eat is a bigger worry. You need to be more worried about the food. The food you're eating, the genetically modified chicken that they're making now. Mm-hmm. Okay? And the, um, what is it, the, the, the restaurants in California that people are dying to go to to get chicken and beef that they manufactured in someone's lab. <laughs> That's what you need to be worried about. <laughs> like... Come on, it's time to just stop it. And y'all love to use my channel to just do y'all those public service announcements. Uh-uh. <laughs> all right, so now that we've gotten through all the disclaimers and the shameless plugs and all that good stuff, let's move to the free 99 information. So my client, as I said, she has scarring alopecia. She can have a multitude of different situations in one. That means that this area does not grow back. The good thing is she got introduced to the prosthetic one day and never turned back. She loves her prosthetic, actually, and it doesn't look like it's a prosthetic. It actually just looks like she has a weave. And no one knows that she has anything wrong or anything, I'm not going to say wrong, but anything going on in her crown area. And that is something that a lot of you don't know is available to you where you don't have to just walk around with a full sew-in all the time. You can still have your hair out and still be able to wear a style and be confident and not worry about anything else. We're not Donald Trumping. We're not doing any of that because guess what? Her prosthetic looks way better than his. It matches. His does. When the breeze blows, she does not look like the Simpsons. No. (laughs) Everything is secure. Everything. All right, so we do her relaxer first. The longest part of this process is what? Uh, applying. Applying. Yep. And it's not even applying it. It's actually the preparation the prep, yeah. to put it on is the longest part of this service because we have to do several layers of adhesive, and then we apply it, and then we cut it and trim it. and all. That part is really quick. It's the adhesive that we have to allow to dry to a certain extent before we can move on to the next layer of adhesive. Oh, I can see y'all up here, I forgot. How often do you have to um, reapply it? How often do we reapply it? Um, but she's learned how to glue it herself now. Okay. So yeah. if it's like, like she can't get here, mm-hmm. she knows how to put it back on. Okay, okay. Yeah, but I haven't had to do it except for when you were on out oh, you know, okay. with the baby. But so usually like what four six weeks eight weeks sometimes it's been oh, wow. yeah it's probably been about eight weeks it's That's been a while because awesome. yeah. the last time she came you came yeah oh yeah it was that day that that evening oh that was a long time. but it was it was before that it was because her kids were here oh yeah and you were here too i think yeah, yeah that was the same time that, but then we came again and i you didn't take it off you just oh i just washed it you just washed yeah. it right yeah but um i don't do anything but tie it up okay and i work from home so yeah. there's i'm not in a situation where it's yeah you know being manipulated exactly mm-hmm. yeah. so it lasts a lot longer but yeah does anyone know that it's a prosthetic i mean besides my children yeah no, no. they can't tell the difference <laughs> they can't mm-hmm. do you um can, how often can you wash like naturally wash it or? Yeah, she washes her hair. Like yeah. we'll wash around it. Okay, yeah. yeah, and then like you can kind of wet it. I mean, it because it's it's adhesive. You don't want it to be too wet. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, it's one of those things where you can even if you wet it, you can go back and just put adhesive around the perimeter right. because yeah. up here is so secure. So secure. Yeah. It, it's not one of those things that can fly off. It's right. just mm-mm. it's not even that kind of thing. But if I want to wash my own hair in between coming to her, I just kind of pin it up. And then just wash my own hair. And, yeah. and if anything gets wet, I just sit under the dryer. But it's actually been easy to maintain. Yeah. It really Can you is. swim if you want? Can't get it wet like that. Not yet. You don't not, want to submerge not submerged. It. Not submerged. <laughs> you can you can get it wet, but you don't want to submerge it like okay. that because eventually 
the adhesive under here is going to start to be affected yeah. and then it starts to lift more right, right, right. then you got a problem yeah. because now you have to take the whole thing off and now we got to get all this adhesive off to then to reattach it right I just was watching videos one day and saw her do it. Mm -hmm. And I have been wearing like full wigs like okay. for the last like five years, ever since my I started losing them. Right. And I was just like, I, I'm tired of this. Yeah. I'm tired of it. And I found her video and I was like, that okay, I'm, doing I'm, I'm doing it. And I didn't even tell my kids and I came and I, when I was messaging with her, I was like, and I'm going to go red. Uh -uh. And I came home and my kids were like, oh my God, uh -huh. you look great. Uh -huh. They started calling me. Um, what did I tell you? They called me Red, Red, um, Red Fox. Red, Red Fox or Red Hot Honey or something like no, that. No, it was Red Hot Honey. Red yeah, Hot honey. <laughs> Red Hot Honey. Your so, kids will keep you. Oh uh, yeah, they were my hype team mm -hmm. always, but yeah. they were really they were happy. They they said, Mom, if you're happy, we're happy, and yeah. you look great, and you yeah. feel you seem like you feel better. More confident. More confident. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, I didn't always feel very confident with the wigs and yeah. things, but you know it is what it is. Yeah. We do what we have to we do. Did, yeah as women, so this has felt much better. Yeah. Much better. And I told, I think I told you, Crystal, too, it's, it's like you have to, once you accept the loss, mm -hmm. which is, uh, it's hard. I know. It is. As I a woman, like, you can do it, but you have to go through a process of acceptance. Accepting. And then after you've tried everything, and I have tried everything for anybody in the comments who's saying, did you try this, try, tried everything. I'm 54, mm -hmm. I've tried everything. And my mom went through the same thing. Really, so, so it's genetic? So it's like genetic, yeah. yeah. It so, doesn't have to be something you did to have alopecia. Exactly. It yeah. can be in your bloodline. It can be stress-induced too, that's what, exactly. can be stress -induced yeah. too. That's what, exactly. but even then, stress-induced can also be from genetics that it, it progresses faster. Yeah. Right. The exactly. stress is just the progressor. Right. Exactly. It didn't start it. It was already there. Yeah. It started like in the bloodline. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it does lie dormant. How you end up losing the hair up there is through testosterone. So mm -hmm. when you get to menopause, you start to your body starts to replace a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Right. And now you're starting to have that's why they call it female pattern baldness. Mm -hmm. But it came from male pattern baldness. Right. So, you know, they say the woman carries mm -hmm. the rib from the man. Right, right, right. So, we still, everything that the man carries lies dormant in us. Right. And then as you get older, it starts to suppress yeah. you. Mm -hmm. And then it starts to take over. Yeah. So, now you start progressing like a man because the testosterone right. starts to do that. Right. Yeah. Which is like yeah. the uncle at the barbecue. Yeah. George <laughs> Jefferson. Mm -hmm. It's all the same. It right. comes yeah. all in the same place. Yeah. So then, like some women, they can do like hormone replacement stuff like that, but that stuff messes with other stuff. Other mm -hmm. stuff, mm -hmm. yeah. It becomes a a much bigger problem. Yeah. In my family, it's after all the women start getting mustaches. mustaches. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and mm -hmm. I can see as I'm getting older, it's just, just, I have one here. Yeah, Alex yeah. have one now yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, so it's just like you said, what how your testosterone. Mm -hmm. It just, yeah. it comes from yeah. the family. Like, it don't even have to be mom and dad. Yeah. It could have been grandma, grandpa. Yeah. It could have been her mom. Yeah. And it skipped three generations right. and now it got to you. Yeah, exactly. That's like my family. We don't have thyroid issues, but I was the first one. The first so somebody, one. somebody had down it. the line had it. Had it. And yeah. it's not my mom. Mm -hmm. It's not my grandma. So I don't know where it came from. Mm -hmm. Blood pressure. My mom. Yeah. All, yep. All of that. Yeah. But blood pressure, I swear, is because we were it's involved really through slavery. No, I think it's because we were involved through slavery of stress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We came here stressed. Our kids were born in stress. Born into stress. Everything has been stressful. So yeah. the, I think that's why a lot of people have. Down. I think yeah. it's more than even food. I think it's the stress that has been passed down from yeah. generation to generation. And we have more stress than any Anybody, other culture, any, any other yeah. race. Yeah. We, we have more problems than everybody else. Yeah. All right, you guys. I'm slowly but surely peeling this off because the alcohol didn't help. It just made it, it didn't work. work. I'm trying to think of what else will like no, a no. solvent, like a. We done tried it off. It's either it's gonna come off real easy or it's not. I just don't know why it was so. One easy time on it came, it, it was just the red one. Big one piece just came right off. off. Yeah. Not this. Is it the a different brand? Oh yeah, the adhesive is different. I do use a different adhesive now. Oh. That could be why. Yeah, that was it. Okay. That's why it stays on top of your head so long. <laughs> <sighs> Okay.
I'm gonna have you working on rubbing it. You want a towel? Um, no, I'm gonna take the coat to the back. Oh, to the back. You want a towel to rub it on? Does she need me rinse yeah. before me? No, no, I'm good. You remember last time you asked her? Her, hair, so I'm good. her <laughs> hair is very coarse oh at the root, and that. then we take it down. Yeah. You want a towel to rub it off? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Take it off. Oh, okay. come here and stick my own head in the boat. Mm -mm. Her hair, her hair is really coarse on the back side. Oh, my little um. Place is gone. You used to have a little table right there, or the oh, microwave. Yeah, yeah, I put it all back here. Okay. Because I'm gonna put one of those kind of things. Oh yeah. Here, so I can cover it. I don't like how it looks when it's wide open. So I have my um little area there. Oh. So you don't see all of my stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, pros. So as you guys know, Nicole got baby tapes. The last appointment, we added some more. It looks great. Yeah, I mean, it really doesn't need to be done, honestly. You're going to be gone, so I'm like, let me just get it knocked off. Are you going to do new tapes today? No. Did you remember? You said, next time I'm going to bring some different tapes. I, I ordered them, but they're not here yet. Okay. But your tapes are still, okay. like, super secure. I know. Even the ones grow The older ones, out, yes. They are, like, super. You have, like, a centimeter of growth I now. Know. These actually show you the growth. I know. It's so crazy. <laughs> your hair looks great. And that trim made a huge, huge difference. Yeah. yeah. All right. Hold on. Let me put this on first. It feels very short, but. Girl. <laughs> Don't listen to Nicole, people. Okay, she's just a different breed of person. Like, God, it feels, it feels like I have a bob. It is not a bob. <laughs> her bob, hold on, her bob is actually down her shoulders, you guys. It is on her shoulder blade. And I have been getting a lot of hair compliments. Good. Yeah. Oh, Nicole, you did color. Oh my gosh. Your hair looks so pretty. My girlfriend, who she. She didn't have a relax. Last night I saw her, she had a relaxer and a keratin. I said, it's just like, my hair's falling out. I said, oh, you think? Girl, you're going to be bald. Stop it. I Why said, would she get a relaxer and a keratin? Oh. At the same time? At the, Who talked her into that? She said some lady told her that it was going to make her hair shiny or something. I, Girl, I said she girl, just wanted to ring that. She probably paid a thousand dollars when she was done. I said, no, you have to go natural. You need to give your hair a break. Like you're not gonna have any hair. I mean, if she wants to be relaxed, that's fine. But doing both processes yeah. is ridiculous. But her hair's gotten, you know, she's gotten older. It's gotten real thin. And that's even gonna make it worse. That's what I said. I said putting all that stuff is gonna make it worse. I don't know who her stylist is that talked her into that mess. Yeah, so last night she said, she said your hair looks so good. She lives in, um, oh, God, St. Pete. So she's like, I haven't found anybody to do my hair. I said, I wish you were in Orlando. I said, you might need to drive drive down. And I get a lot of clients that drive from over there. They, I got clients from Daytona, Jacksonville, mm -hmm. I'm tell West Palm. It's not that far. No, they come like once a month or mm -hmm. once every other yeah, month. Spend the night in the hotel. She don't even have to do that. She's yeah. up the street. Yeah. Leave your house at 8 a.m., come yeah. get your hair done, and go back home. Yeah. You don't even have to stay the night and all that mess. That's not even. Yeah. Most of my clients that come from other places, they come, get their hair done, jump right back on the right, road, right back. go home. Because they're within two to three, two hours mostly. And the one my client who three hours away, mm -hmm. her husband drives, mm -hmm. and then she drives back. Okay. And they know coming here, they're done in like two hours. So yeah. you're not here all day. My one client from West Palm, she drives longer than she's in the salon. And now with that train, you can get all kind of clients. Well, I, I don't, th you know, I didn't tell her about the train. She should do the train. It's so easy. And they're expanding it now. Mm -hmm. They said they're trying to get it all the way to California. I think. Yeah. Where it connects to others. Yeah. It needs to be the whole state of Florida. Girl. It should go to Atlanta. Is what it that should would be, be one of the biggest ones. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I almost knocked your whole. Oh, you're fine. Oh, okay. Come on. 
crazy. Here it is. All right, you guys. So we're going to go ahead and clarify her first. Now, she still has her baby tapes in. I know you guys are asking about the baby tapes. They will be back on the site this weekend. They will be right back on the site this weekend. The good thing is the baby tapes are going to come in larger pieces. So they're about an inch and a half in width. And then you can cut it to make it into two pieces or you can cut it into three pieces. And it's really, really easy. So that will give you the ability to add that pop of color to your hair, which Nicole has now had hers weeks. Yeah. And we've added more. And then we're supposed to replace them, but I didn't get the hair yet. But she'll survive with these because they still look good. Yeah. We're doing the wave tip. If we can, but... If... Is this the weekend you said you were going somewhere? Yeah, I'm going to DC. Okay, I'll do it again. But if it's too much heat, I don't have to do it. It's a lot of heat, though. Okay, then let's not do it. We're I'm not doing it. Whatever we did less, last time. Yeah, whatever is less heat. Yeah, let's do that. I like the way we did it last time. The yeah. waves are nice. Yeah, I'll But it, it takes that. a lot. Yeah. And we just trimmed it and got it back healthy. Let's... Give it and your hair looks great today from just what you just wrapping it yeah just wrap it yeah, i didn't even wrap it last night because i knew it was coming in it looked good to me yeah. i mean i put slipped on a satin pillowcase and it was and that was it that was it looks fine to me yeah all right you guys i'm going to clarify her once more but with this clarifier i'm going to add my mend it split in and frizz frizz control shampoo now the reason why i'm cocktailing the clarify is because she has a little bit of buildup on her scalp and I want to make sure that we get that nice and clean. But at the same time, I'm going to just do her treatment for the rest of her hair. Hey Maria, thank you for watching. She says, I'm an 83 year old lady and I don't miss your videos. I love it. <laughs> That's awesome. Just a reminder, you guys, this weekend is the $10 serum and shampoo sale. So, our Soothe and Balance, as well as our Clarify shampoo, and all of our hair serums are $10. No code needed. So there's over 400 people on the live, but I only see 80 thumbs up. So I need everybody to close your chat and go and hit that thumbs up button for me. Hi, Australia. So I'm going to put a hair mask on Nicole, but she's not going to go under the dryer. So I'm going to mix. Well, I actually have a pre-mixed cocktail. This is my B7 conditioning mask, along with the mended mask, along with a little bit of our low porosity hair mask. And I put them all three. I put all three together because I use it so much. It smells like a fruit bowl. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put this on and then Nicole will just kind of sit with this for a second while I shampoo my client. Miss Angie, you can come. I know you're burning. Probably not. <laughs> she doesn't burn very quickly. Mm-mm. Oh, God. I'm just chilling with that. It's not unbearable. Yeah, I am, I'm impressed. <laughs> coming off. Yeah, I think I made a little bit more progress. But come on back. Push back into the bowl. All right, so we're going to rinse my client who has her relaxer. Could you guys believe that her, her gray hair is still curly? <laughs> even after all of that time. So gray hair is a beast of its own. Yep.
All right, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and put her conditioner on for just a minute or so. Okay, so while her conditioner is on, come on back for me. No, no, stay back. While her conditioner is on, I'm going to put some of our Soothe and Balance pre-treatment on the area where her prosthetic goes because that area is covered for weeks at a time. This is definitely going to help to soothe that area, clean off any residual residue that might be there. She did a great job of taking hers off. It actually came all off on the thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then just let it sit. So this is going to help to soothe any itching, calm down any inflammation on the scalp. Hi, Crystal. I love watching your videos. I have thinning problem in the crown area. Which product and scalp serum is best for me? So if you're natural, I would say to use the Goddess Hair Repair Serum. Um, and then you can also use our B7 collection. If you are relaxed, you too can use the B7 collection, but you can use the B7 serum or the super growth serum. The difference is the super growth serum is for growth and inflammation. The B7 serum is to strengthen hair that is stagnant or hair that is just damaged in a sense. So that's the difference between the two. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse her off so we can start normalizing her. Your earring is still in the sink, but it's in the, the strainer. Okay. I got it here when I'm done. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and normalize her. You're welcome. Hi Chicago. All right, so we're normalizing her. Everywhere that that relaxer was and around it. How can you prevent thinning or balding? Watch what you're eating. Hair, skin, and nail vitamins are great, but here's the problem. Whatever's in your genetics is in your genetics. So whatever starts happening all on its own, come on back for me. You can't really worry about crossing the bridge before you even get to the bridge. Okay, so don't focus so much on what can I do, what can I do? Because you're going to do everything under the sun and you cannot fight genetics. Now, for those of you that it's not genetic and it's more self-induced, definitely be calm, like be kind, be mindful, be calm. Be mindful of you know, the different styles that you're putting in, the tightness, some things you just do to yourself. Like for a situation like my client here, this is definitely not self-induced. Okay, it's, it's too uniform of an area to be self-induced, which is how I know it's just a form of female pattern baldness. It's genetic. So this is our final shampoo. Give her a good scratch. <laughs> Stimulate up here. It feels good. Especially because, you know, when that thing goes on, there's no getting under there. <laughs> All right, come on back for me.
Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Sit up for me. You can go sit in my chair, okay? okay. I'm going to put this around your shoulder. You can keep it there. Right. Nicole, you can come. Yep. Oh, Miss Angie, your earring. Oh. All right. So we're going to go ahead and rinse Nicole and put her to dry. So we're gonna use cool water to rinse her. This is her favorite part, you guys. Mm. I told y'all, favorite part. Just an initial shot, girl. You didn't even warn me. <laughs> I did, I said, look, I'm gonna rinse her with cool water. I didn't hear. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm. So we're gonna do a textured press on her today which is kind of what we did the last appointment, but it's better because we don't want to straighten her too much. Thank you to everybody who hit that thumbs up button. We're at 130 thumbs up, but it's 560 people on the live. So if all of you could close your chat and go hit that thumbs up button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you haven't joined the Elite Pro team yet, text the word Elite Pro to 41372, and that puts you into the Elite Pro team where you can get special discounts, sales, tips, tricks, all that good stuff. So text Elite Pro, all one word, to 41372. And you get a coupon code when you do so. All right, I'm going to spray her down with a little bit of Hydra Strength Leave-In Spray. And then I'm just going to use my wide tooth comb to comb her down. Oh, what's that? That's right there. Oh, that's the weave. I'm like, oh my gosh. It's tangled. I got it. I got scared just now, like, wait. No, it was just rolled up into it. Mm. You're doing good. Yeah. It's not, it's, I'm losing a lot of my curl pattern. I'm just straightening so much, so mm -hmm. it's coming out easy. Which I need to stop straightening so much. <laughs> you wear it straight more than anything else? I know, and I need to give it a break. Roots still straight away. Mm -hmm. Whew. That's where it's not straight there. Girl. That's the part we mm -hmm. all day long. Yep. All right, let's go to the dryer. Okay. Ooh, bless me. All right, you guys, we're going to go over to my chair because I'll be up there. Putting on the adhesive, all that good stuff. Told you guys today was a short day. Perm? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, no, this the perm is actually way up here. Okay. You can see. All right. So here is where most of the work happens. <laughs> Let me get back on. No, I'm okay. Yeah, I got a little section. Okay, you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and trim her down first. Now I don't mold her um, at this phase of the process, only because she's gonna get molded all at one time. So we are actually going to go ahead and do her cut now. And then um, start applying her adhesive and getting her prepared for the prosthetic. I don't 
turn down for me. You want back here tapered? Yes. And low. Gotcha. Thank you. So I start off by just cleaning her up back here. She's like me. We don't want no hair back here. No. <laughs> because it doesn't it doesn't help. It just makes it more complicated. Yes. So ironic, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are tapins offered in naturally curly type 4A, 4B, 4C? Um, honestly, I wouldn't use tapins for that texture because you're never gonna have the right blend. Uh, I wouldn't really do it. Well, we have our texture queen, but texture queen is in like a three, type three kind of texture. Now this area I would do last. We're gonna go ahead and get her crown ready. We don't need her cape for this part. This gets hot. Okay, you guys, so we're going to start off by just cleaning her really well. Um, I actually already took the hair off that area in her crown. Let that dry and then we'll clean her one more time.
right, I'm going to clean her one more time. Sorry, Mom. Okay. So now we're going to prepare the area for us to put on her prosthetic. So this is a skin preparator. So we're gonna let that dry. And then we start with layer 9,000. <laughs> I was gonna say layer one. Oh geez, and she keeps a track of how many layers we've done because it's just that many. <laughs> it is just that many, you guys. It really is. Hello. Hey. Hello. Okay. I have an appointment at 12. Jennifer. Okay. You booked it. When did you book it? Um, I booked it. Well, let me, let me hold on. Because my calendar probably just didn't update me. No, you're fine. I'll wait. My phone's on a lot of things I'm using. My husband's doing it. No, you're fine. My calendar doesn't update so fast. That's fine. Give me just a moment, okay? I just want to be on
Oh, yes, yes. It don't, this one doesn't have to dry so long. Okay. Okay, Mom, you can sit in my chair. So you get an aversion relax. Yes, ma'am. Gotcha. How did you come? You too. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Say hey to yourself. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. We're gonna do a virgin relaxer on my client. She has fine textured hair. I'm assuming you just got tired of this natural, huh? Yes, ma'am. I actually decided to change it because of what you said. I was watching a video. You was like, it doesn't matter if it's relaxed or natural. It's some damn be damaged. Either way. <laughs> yeah, but, I have more damaged natural clients than I do so some relaxed like, clients. It's surprising. Yeah, but it's true. Too much work. I got three kids, so. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start her virgin. I'm actually gonna use a mild on her because she has fine textured hair and it will process very quickly. So to give enough time for her to process evenly, I'm gonna use the mild. But a lot of people think that just because the mild, oh, it's mild, it can process just as fast as normal. It can process just as fast as resistant. It's really how you use it. And it's dependent on the client's hair. Okay, so whenever I'm doing my virgins, I do it in quadrants. And because she has such um, length, we're gonna make sure that we kind of do this really quickly. And then I'm gonna put a plastic covering on her because her hair is definitely gonna extend down to the cape. start with the mid shaft first and then we go up to about an inch to almost maybe two inches away from her ends Why am I holding my head back like she's putting the cape on me? Y'all are so funny. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so we're going to start
Pac, you're doing wonders in those comments with all the trolls. Pac is blocking everybody. <laughs> Just know you're not going to make it through. Just go do it. What are you placing on scalp? Nothing. Yes, she does have long hair. Mm -hmm. Pac said he's channeling his inner grasshopper. <laughs> it's so funny. Because you know grasshopper block everybody. <laughs> they said, have you ever had a relaxer? Um, when I was a kid. When she was a child. And then I went natural in like 2012. She says she went natural 2012, for those of you in the back. And since then, we've just been natural. Yes. So there is your answer, people. <laughs> all right, so all I'm doing is just pulling it through the mid shaft, allowing this to process, and then we'll go through and do the roots and the ends at the same time. This one will probably do three layers, maybe four. Oh, this one is extreme. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. It smells different. It does. It's supposed to be a longer lasting food. Oh, okay. And it's more of a gel. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So I think we'll do, i say four to be on the same side. Okay. I'm not going to do seven for this. <laughs> this thing is super sticky okay. already. All right, Mom. All right.
Come on, Mom. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting it on her ends now. But before I do that, I'm gonna comb through the mid shaft. And the last place that I'm gonna put it is her roots. Because that part is gonna go really quickly. For her ends, I can just literally comb through the mid shaft and extend it through the ends. Let me move y'all back a little bit so you can see. So I'm starting at the ends and working my way up. This is a like a medium tooth comb. You guys see how fast that area processed from the mid shaft to the ends? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and finish putting on the relaxer. At the root area, we'll start in the most resistant spot first. See who has a relaxer. If you have a relaxer, put a one in the chat. <clears throat> if you're natural and think you want a relaxer, put a two in the chat. So we have put the relaxer on all of the back. It's gonna add a little bit to her ends. Feel it okay? Mm -hmm. Now we'll go ahead and put it all in the crown area.
Do I have travel size products? No. But how you can make your products travel size products, just get one of the little travel kits, put some of your shampoo in there, put the name on it with a little label printer or a, or a little magic marker, and you're good to go. I feel like travel size products are a waste of money. I don't buy travel size. So you love my curl cream? Thank you. I'm just going through the ends again. Remember we put the relaxer on the ends just a moment ago. The roots will straighten really quickly, just like her ends did. So I'm just gonna stretch them. It's a lot of pulling, you guys. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta say that for the, the people in the back. <laughs> oh my gosh, why is she pulling her head like that? It's a lot of hairstylists on here. <coughs> Drive me nuts on this thing. You guys see how fast her hair is processing and we're using a mild. So that's why I tell you guys do not get caught up in mild, medium, that don't matter. The spatula, yes, it is because of the length of her hair while I'm using the brush. But these brushes have softer bristles. With the spatula, I can't spread it enough and really drive it into the hair. So I don't really use the spatula when I have long hair relaxer clients, especially for like virgin clients. But yes, I do love my spatula. Alright, so we're gonna stretch out over here. Uh oh, oh Lord. <laughs> she broke my comb. <laughs> I'm just playing, you guys. The comb was gonna break anyway. <laughs> Woo! So we're just gonna stretch it out just to give it a little help to process. Smooth that baby in. Come down here to her ends. Now, remember with relaxer, if you leave the hair in a wavy state, it can also make the hair wavy. So I'm making her straight, but I just want to make sure that I do my part. Back here is almost processed. So I'll probably give her like five more minutes. And back here is actually processed. Put 
pipe. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> It feels different compared to the other one. Uh huh. Yeah. This one is extreme. So I said I'm not gonna put too much, too many layers of this one. Cause it's like a jelly-like substance. Mm -hmm. yeah, you said it dries quicker. Mm -hmm. It dries very quick. Yeah. It will dry in the bottle if you leave it open. Oh wow. Imagine if I tried to put seven layers of that. Right, yeah. I would never. But you know they have an even more extreme one than that. Than that? Oh, yes. wow. Guess you gotta get intense with it, huh? Listen. I'm letting it get tacky first, and then I'll put it on. Okay. All right. You feel okay? Yes. Yes. You feeling okay? Yes. Go ahead and go to the shampoo bottle. Okay. If anyone can get her hair, her right, it's you. Thank you. Things on the edges? Yes. Oh, really? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out my sink before I rinse her. You guys see how fast that relaxer process is? Very good at multitasking. I am. I map it out in my mind. Bless you. Where am I located? Central Florida. Your hair is gorgeous, Crystal. Thank you. Come on back from there. Push back in here. You see your hairline? See your hairline? Yes. Up here? Yeah. Kind of push back into the bone a little bit. Okay. That's it? Yeah. Good. No. Okay. It's 1 a.m. Sunday, mo Saturday morning in Australia. Wow. So I'm sure you guys are wanting to see her, her hair. It's in the sink, but in a good way. <laughs> Thank you. 
Do you use a hair dryer for the protein treatment? Yes. Thank you. Final shampoo, I'm going to put the normalizing shampoo along with a little bit of moist repair. Don't forget you guys, if you haven't already done so, send the word elite pro all one word to 41372 to join the elite pro plus team Are you itchy or you okay? mm -hmm. <laughs>
it up for me. Keep that towel on, okay. and then you're gonna go to the dryer, and I'll follow behind you in just a second. Oh, it's Angie. You can sit in my chair. All right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and attach our prosthetic and then mold her down so she can go under the dryer. You gotta remember which way is the front. <laughs> I know, you gotta all twist it up when you're taking the glue off. <laughs> I think this is the front. I don't know, maybe that's the back. The back is like a little longer. Right? No, I thought the front was a little longer. Well, they're both long. Remember, I told you last time when I put it on myself, I did it backwards. Girl. Okay. All right, we're going to go with this way. <laughs> Good thing is, it's universal. I was going to say, yeah, you, you'll fix it up. <laughs> All No, I provide the piece, but we reuse them.
Okay, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and mold her using our Elite Silk Wrap Foam. So now you guys see that it is definitely possible to have alopecia and still actually have a style. Now this is not a permanent style, you guys. You have to come in, get your maintenance, just like she does. All of that still applies, but the fact that you are able to still include your hair and look like you have, hold on, and look like you have um, an extension service, a quick weave, whatever you want to call it. That's the name of the game. You guys see how seamless it looks on the side? So I'm able, at first we used to have to create sideburns for her when we first started this. Now I just kind of use it just for a good blend, but it's not required. Is it easy to maintain? Yeah, very easy. I'll get it. Everything is falling in here. So this is <laughs>
guys. I'm gonna go ahead and silk press or texture press Nicole. Say it the right way. Um, she got a trim last week, so we won't be doing any trimming. Oh, yo, oh, I'm like, you doing that? Alrighty guys, we're gonna do a texture press. I'm gonna go ahead and blow her out just a little bit. Okay, you guys, so we're doing, like I said, a textured press, where basically a textured press is us curling and silking all at the same time. Um, it's not gonna make the hair like bone straight. It does leave a lot of density in her hair, a lot of body. Really easy to do. I'm gonna use our Smooth by EHC Flat Iron, which is on our website now. Um, at some points, I'll also use my um, smooth by EHC XL iron, which is the two inch iron. This one that I'm using is the one inch. So this is our one inch ceramic iron. Right now I have it at 450. It goes up to 500, but I don't need it at 500. And you guys can tell I can curl and flat iron with the same iron. I can silk her out. It doesn't need to be titanium. It is all ceramic.
have it on ready. Girl, I have to turn the air on. Hey, Crystal, your hair looks awesome. Can you please do a video with Sweet Kasim? <laughs> I have so many. I'll bring them on live sometime this weekend. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm a little tired. For silver hair, I would be, what would be the best teeth? I'd probably say start at 300. That donate some of that hair to the underprivileged, no edges, uh, no edges girls. <laughs> Could y'all believe every day she comes? Like she's like, oh, I think it's getting shorter. And this hair is not gonna be shorter. AT&T phone's not working or something? It did not work yesterday. I wonder why. For the whole thing. That's dangerous. Mm -hmm. You have AT&T? Yeah. We were, mm -hmm. Uber, yeah, we were on the too. train. And... 
Luckily, we're on the train because we can use Wi-Fi. Wi yeah. Oh, you can use the Wi-Fi probably. Yeah. But anything outside of that. Yeah. The same SOS. I heard so many people saying it, but did they figure it out? They didn't say why. They did figure it out. It took about four, five hours. That's crazy. I can't send any text messages to Android phones, nor am I receiving any. With at t No, I'm arriving. Oh. I think it's my actual phone. I'm not sure. I ordered a new one anyway yesterday mm -hmm. because I haven't been receiving. You know, like even when you have to like verify your account and stuff like that, mm -hmm. I can't get any of those messages either. Mm -hmm. So no short code messages are coming. But this has been like progressive because like my baby said, I can't send her a text at all. It says undelivered to any mm -hmm. iPhone, not any um, Android phone. I just upgraded it, so we'll see if that fixes it. If that's not the case, then I got to come pick it up. I reset my network, I did everything. Mm -hmm. so shiny. Thank you. you mm -mm. I don't even see my gray oh, okay now. when I wash my gray yeah, I was reading <laughs> okay, you talking about you but after I dry it it's yellow what can I do you need to use the voila purple toning shampoo I'm thinking she's talking about her hair <laughs> that we just did the color I was like, to girl, what? No, I, my gray is like and I'm gone. like well it looks more blonde she's yeah. like no like when I wash it I'm like wait what <laughs> sorry I thought you heard me say this woman is asking uh -uh. Maybe I didn't say it should grow, who knows. I'm but yes, jo sorry, Mama. Mm -hmm. Joy, you'd use the Voila Purple Toning Shampoo. It's more than likely yellow. And you're looking at it now, after you wash it, it's wet, so it's gonna show better. That is yellow. <coughs> and the AC is so nice. I was over here, so I snake. My hair is wet. So this is our Smooth by EHC XL iron that you can also <coughs> use to do large curls or flat ironing. It just relaxes the curl a little bit more. Sit in a oh, he likes cigars. Oh. You did say he's a connoisseur, right? Yeah, he does. Is that a cigar room? No. He, I have an outdoor patio that's like screened in. Oh, okay. It goes out there. Surprise me, maybe I'll Storage house for all his cigars. No, he has a huge. He collects them. Yeah. There's a little like refrigerated human. Girl. 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 You have a shisha? No. Mm -mm. You don't want to see shit? No, you know, now the kids are going to leave so much house. Space. <laughs> I, girl, you, you. Hey, you got to fix things that break in so much space exactly. because you haven't used it. Good luck on that because you're gonna pay the same price that you're paying right now for that tiny house when you can stay in the house you're in because <laughs> that's where mortgages are now. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's 
So you guys see that I'm using either iron and I'm able to give her curls. I'm able to flat iron her. I can do all the same stuff with my irons. Of course, when I use when I use the larger iron, of course, it's going to be a lot looser. I haven't been to salon in years. In years, how can I stop my hair loss? Um, I would probably say you need to go and get like a consultation first, or even go to a dermatologist to have some um, cultures done or biopsying or whatever they want to call it to kind of give you an idea of why you are where you are. Thank you. So you guys see these little pieces here? Those are the baby tapes that she has in. Oh, these baby tapes are rough. The hair under there. Be back to silky smooth after this. Yeah. Said I know how to handle heads. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. silver dollar. Oh, yeah. Oh, she just looks unhappy. Like, she does. She don't look like, how are you a millionaire like that? She just doesn't seem happy she's about always anything. She's always like, sad now. She's not the smiley person yeah. she was. Yeah. 
Do you think you'll ever hang up your stylist hat? Tried many times. It's just not time yet. <laughs> when the Lord says, Crystal, you are now done. Hang it up. And I'm a stalker. I'm sitting outside her house. <laughs> I'm sitting outside her house. Please, Crystal, please. But you know, my, my way of stepping back from the chair is cutting my days down. Yeah. So I'm happy in the salon working two days a week. That's good for me because it keeps me active. It's not, you know, I would love to just not be behind the chair at all, but would I be happy? Probably not. Yeah. Now, when the hair care gets to that point where I really don't have the time, then that's different. But right now, no, I'm fine. And you like interacting with people. I, some people. Yeah. She knows me well. She knows not many people. <laughs> not some many, people. But the pe the customers that are your regulars. Yeah, yeah. I have my my real regular regulars. But well, I meet a lot of nice people now. Now that I have more of a standard and like, <laughs> you know, like I do certain services because I know it, it weeds out a lot of people. Pricing weeds out a lot of people. I have a very well-rounded clientele. Yeah. I don't have a lot of, I don't have any foolishness. Like yeah, they don't even come here with it. You haven't had that in a while. No, mm -hmm. got a good thing. Cause you know that my patience is short. And I'm more established now. I'm happier now with my job. I don't have a million clients in a day anymore. Like that also will burn you out and make you not want to do hair. When you have to do like 20 people in a day, I do like five to six max in a day and I'm good. So I cut all my hair off supporting my sister in her chemo journey, but I want to dye it. My mom and daughter said I can't dye it because I have scalp psoriasis, psoriasis, whatever. Please tell me they're wrong. They are. You can still dye your hair. I mean, you probably need to make sure that you have your scalp condition under control though. But you're not excluded from hair color just because everybody has, there's, yeah, there's no exclusion for that. You can definitely still color it. Thank you. She said it's so pretty. All right, let me do her hairline real quick. And then we'll comb through it. She wouldn't care if I did her I hairline or not. Look, to, or you don't have to comb through it. I can walk out just like that. She's like, don't comb through it. Don't, don't. <laughs> So all I'm doing is straightening out her hairline. I got 
against this chair. What's wrong with it? Who keeps leaning? I don't know why. Uh, maybe me and Alex put it together wrong. Mm -hmm. It was me and Alex that did this. Uh, Okay. So we're gonna use our flow comb just to kind of graze over her. Just make it nice and flowy and stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. It look like you got the beach waves without even getting them. There's that. Yeah, it looks good. Yes. Come through, Nicole. She's doing the soft and beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. Oh. Uh -oh. So I won't see you for a minute because you have your. Oh no, I'm telling you, I think they're trying to change the date oh. to that Friday. Okay. So I'll let you know the yeah. week before. Okay. Um, for you to tell me what you want. Okay. Sam, do you consider my chair? Looks pretty. Thank you. I'm sure yours will Why you gotta tell me? I'm sorry. She just <laughs> need to tell me y'all. Go ahead. It's a black woman who's like an interior designer, so she has like this line of stuff. And oh, so she okay. does that foil, like the wallpaper, and so she has a candle line. Okay. Oh. So I want. And you know I like candles. Yes, I know you love candles, but it's cool because it's like a. Let me see now. Cool now thing. I gotta open it. Oh, I got a Valentine's Day gift, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Get you some of those. Get you some of those. <laughs> <laughs> so you see. Lord, Lorde. So the Sheila Bridges is a black. She oh, partnered with them. Okay. But you see, it has a little basket thing. So make think of Oh, look at that, you Oh, oh nice. my gosh. <laughs> Ooh, so that's I the like lid, the, top. the Ooh, color. Yeah. And it made me think of your. Oh room. my gosh. You smell. I was uh -huh. going to say, you should smell it. <laughs> ah, but it reminded me, the top reminded yeah. me of your room. Mm -hmm. So it's going to go right there, too. Yeah. Ooh, this smells so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Get you one of those. Uh, <laughs> this is a chicken salad. I love you, girl. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. Thank you. All right, I'm going to put it up there. Sorry. I'm notorious for also not burning the candles because oh, they're pretty. <laughs> See you a lie. Well, I'll call All you right. the week before and let yeah, you know because they're going to move the date so then you can come a little bit closer. Oh, good. Well, let me know. I'll let you know. Okay. And then Bye -bye. I think you'll have the date by then, right? Yes. For I your date? I hope so. Okay. Yeah. All right, we'll figure it out. Good, good luck. Safe travels. Safe travels. Can't, can't have family. y'all people's camera looking. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> What that would be the one event that you go and they, they give his mom right there. <laughs> You're looking like, oh I'm my gosh. Say, and Crystal did my hair. No, <laughs> <laughs> Act like you don't even know me. <laughs> See you, mama. All right, you guys. So we are going to curl up my client. So we're going to clean up her prosthetic just a little bit. You guys see how nice and clean that is? With my broken edgers. <laughs> I'm going to get another one.
say your hair is beautiful. Thank you. Hmm. I don't even know what number is there. Oh yeah, that number is old. I'll talk to you after three. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, you guys. So what I'm doing to know. I'm just going through and just kind of blending out um, the prosthetic to match today's style slash cut. Now, the prosthetics, you don't want to get too scissor happy with it because, of course, you're going to use it again and again until it's time to be replaced. This is your second or your third? This is her third prosthetic. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, the first two we used to do color. Now she just kind of just goes with it in its natural colors. Um, she's been burgundy. Now we're brown. We, we've, we've done it all the time. Mm -hmm. We've done it all. <laughs> and each time it always comes out cute. It does. So just wait for me. So all we're doing, like I said, guys, is just kind of just feathering her a little bit. I'm not cutting too much. Because that is how, that is the easiest way to end up losing the life in your prosthetic. You up for the sweatpants? Oh well, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Is it just for the sweatpants? Yeah, sure. Okay, well, just let them go and write it up. What is it, a demerit or something? Did they win? Because I don't hear you telling me they won. Did they win? He passed out. Is he awake? Are you serious? Did they call the ambulance? He's not moving at all? Oh, Lord. Is it really hot out there? 
but is it like super hot like oh man i hope he's okay all right call me back at huh like just now all right call me back and let me know what i want okay bye So my daughter is at their school, had um, went to the soccer finals, and they haven't gone in many, many years. Oh, wow. So the school closed the entire high school today oh, wow. and got awesome. charter buses for them to go to Arbondale oh, to oh, go nice. and watch the game. Okay. So I'm asking her, did the, she calling me because she didn't write written up, and they try to like forewarn me before they come to my email mm -hmm. that they got written up. <laughs> Nice. She's like, well, it's for me wearing my sweatpants, but there's girls out here in booty shorts and all this stuff, whatever. <laughs> That's not something that I'm going to sit here and argue with her about. Right. I, I don't care about that. Mm -hmm. I thought she was going to tell me that she was doing something inappropriate or something. Right, right. Anyway, I'm like, did they win? She's like, the referee passed out, mommy. What? So what do you mean the referee passed out? She's like, he did, he blew the whistle and just fell. And fell? So I'm like, that's why I was asking her. I'm like, is it, it really hot out there? there? Huh? Like she's like, it's not that hot, mommy. I'm like, is he moving? She's like, he's not moving, mommy. They're all, oh, they're no. all huddled around him. And they, she said it happened like five minutes before she called me. Oh, my goodness. And I'm hoping that this man don't pass away or something. Right. That, is, that is traumatic. Oh, um, yes. hello. These are For high school kids, children. Right. Okay. For his family. Like, oh, There's goodness. a lot going on. Wow. She's like five minutes before she called me. He just blew the whistle and fell. Oh my God, that's so. And I'm scary. like, did the ambulance come? She's like, it just happened. So let's just send out some silent prayer, right, to this referee. I don't care about the game now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want this man to be okay. Goodness gracious. It doesn't seem like it's that hot today, but yeah, maybe. Well, that's why bit. I asked her because I'm like, maybe it was heat exhaustion, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, you know those soccer fields don't have any coverage. No, you know you have like a heat stroke kind of thing, and so I'm like, I'm I'm hoping that this man is okay. You know, this is a children's soccer game. They can't they can't manage this. These little these little kids can not handle that kind of stuff. Goodness gracious! They probably all got their phones out. Yes, but. Nothing is happening. Hold on. So the referee passes out, and my daughter's not calling me because the referee passed out. She's calling me because Let mommy you know is writing she me. I wrote up. Right. Oh, and I had by to the way, ask, did they win? For her to tell me that the referee passed out. <laughs> oh, and by the way, somebody passed out. <laughs> Girl, she's like Coach Wayne and they're writing me up because I wore sweatpants. <laughs> and I'm sitting here. I'm like, I don't recall you leaving the house in sweatpants this morning, dude. I have to check. Did you get to school and change your clothes? Is that a part of the school, though? No. We're not um, the rest of the family. Hmm. But we'll see. I'm not going to work out that. The school it's private school. Mm -hmm. They don't damn with all that mess. They they make up the stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. It's always something. I don't care about that. But to her point, though, people wearing booty shorts. Exactly. Like, what's what's the, the difference? That's why I'm understand. like, I'm about to tell her she needs to take a picture. Yeah, because I don't get it. <laughs> They always hot for them, boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, out, don't worry about those other people. We'll get them. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna stress her about her damn. Listen, my mind was on. I hope you didn't do something inappropriate. Right, exactly. Not no stupid sweatpants. I don't care about it. That's why I was like, "Are you sure?" That's what they're writing you up for. I'm sure, mommy. Okay. <laughs> Don't have me look like a fool. Prayers for the referee, you guys, because now I'm like, I want to call her back and be like, okay, what's going on? Mm -hmm. I don't even know this man or woman or whoever.
How's her hair looking, you guys? How's her hair looking? What color is it? Um, natural black. It's not really colored. It's just the natural color it comes in. Cute. No offense, but that hair sound. That hairstyle is not, oh, you said it's not, it's it, what? <laughs> they don't like it. Girl, some weird person that Pat just blocked. <laughs> We're talking about poor woman. <laughs> it's always one, one mm -hmm. little seemingly little smurf. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop calling y'all trolls. I'm going to stop calling y'all smurfs. One out of maybe five million. They love coming over here. Everybody's like laughing my ass off blocks. <laughs> That's so funny. You know the trolls gotta come over here. That means I'm doing something very right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I've been going on two years rocking this hairstyle, and that's what okay. they say. Whatever. That's the one person out of two years. <laughs> right. That's how we know that's a lie. Hey. I get nothing but compliments when I walk out the door, so. Not bothered. <laughs> it's been two years? Oh, go almost. almost. In wow. November it will be. Almost two years mm -hmm. that we've been doing this. Almost, yeah. Now, tell me, don't that look like scalp? Look that scalp right there, y'all. That scalp. <laughs> okay? You can't get no more scalp than that. Let's 
Gorgeous crown of glory or crown and glory. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Of course, pack. Pack always coming with something. <laughs> crown and glory. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. We yeah. have done this so many times now. Now we're just used to this. <laughs> And it's a great traveling hairstyle. So. Don't have to do much, right? <laughs> I just wrap it and tie it up and wake up in the morning and it, yeah. it falls back into place. So works. <laughs> it works. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, from the dryer. <laughs> I'm good today. Uh, listen, don't, don't feel bad. We were over here like I was having a hot flash or something. I know somebody saying that I'm um, Smurfs fake song. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Come on, honey. She said you call them Smurfs. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> the admin's block game is strong. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Cat been blocking all day. Don't play around. <laughs> All right, so this is my client, you guys, that we did the relaxer on. I know most of you are like, oh my gosh, my hair is curly. That does happen, you guys. Some people who are already curly, the relaxer straightens the roots, but your ends stay curly. I've been getting relaxers a very long time, and my hair is still curly if I grow it out right now, oh especially baby. fine textured hair. Well, no, fine textured hair is going to always be like that. It'll never be bone blah straight for you. Huh? Get the best of both worlds. Yeah, that's the good part about it. But it's only in fine texture hair. I don't know what it is. But then when you blow it out, it goes bone straight. Yeah. And it just makes you wrap your hair at night. Oh yeah. All right. All right, set. baby. All right. Thank you. I'll see, see you next time. time. Bye. Bye. First, only because I have to clean you, and then I'll throw it. Okay. now blown out we're gonna go ahead and straighten her just a little bit more um, it really doesn't take very much because she is fully relaxed but I want to make sure that I trim her ends the right way and doing it from here is not my forte I prefer to have the hair straight so the good part is because she is relaxed I don't even have to do much to straighten her it's really just to give her a little bit of heat because that hair is already straight. See those roots? Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm going to take our Smooth by EHC XL and I'm just going to run over her hair real easy. 
let you know in a moment. You can go back and watch it later. You're at the end of the video. See the difference? Did I say what temperature? My iron is at 450. And as I said, you guys, you see how large my sections are? Because she's already relaxed. So I'm only just making sure that the hair is smooth so that I can truly see all of her split ends because if not, it all looks split and it's not. And I didn't even go to the roots because I'm gonna curl her, so. Her hair is looking very, very good, and you don't have a great job of it. Oh, that's relaxed hair. She's relaxed now, yes. She was natural when she came in and said, I am relaxing it. If the relaxing process is done right, you guys, and it, it comes out the right way, it's when you overdo it. Some of you want your hair to be bone straight, so you'll leave that relaxer in for 45 minutes. No. The hair just needs to have an S pattern. Because remember, every time we go and we do a retouch, it gets straighter and straighter and straighter. So if you start her this way and she's fine textured, she doesn't lose a ton of her density and she doesn't shed as much because her hair did not get somewhat over processed, especially because she's fine textured. So that's the reason why I use the mild as well because I wanted to make sure that I protected her hair as best possible. Even though she's getting a relaxer, I don't need to take her to dead bone straight. No. All right, I'm gonna chin back for me. So she's doing the middle part. See how nice and light and airy her hair is moving and grooving. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim her now. So now I can really see her split ends, which is not very much.
after we clip our ends, what should we do with them so they stay good? Wrap your hair at night. I mean, you can never get away from split ends, you guys. But just make sure you're wrapping your hair at night. Make sure you are detangling your hair every day if possible. You know what I mean? Like, don't just go to sleep with your hair not protected. It's the basics. And the first thing I said to her is, make sure you wrap your hair at night. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you did. Okay. I was, I was good to do that. <laughs> I was tired of me putting a bonnet on. <laughs> Please, little bonnet. Braids go in the bonnet. Mm -hmm. All right, chin down for me. Let me just finish this base. How long have you been a hairdresser? I graduated high school and I went to cosmetology school. So I am legally approaching 20 years. Oh, he's a licking his haircut. So I need to insure my hands. Baby, this layering here is atrocious. I feel like I'm a step down. I can't even fix it. I'm just gonna let this gonna have to grow out okay. a little bit. No problem. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> yeah, never again. Don't don't do that again. No cutting ever again. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we're gonna give her some loose curls. Now you know fine textured hair doesn't hold curls very long. Okay. Uh -huh. So just keep that in mind. But as they fall, you just wrap your hair. Okay. So I'm going to spray her with some Sebastian Shaper. And I'm going to use our Smooth by EHC 2 inch iron. You can also use the 1 inch. So I'll show you guys with the 1 inch. You're going to do a lot more turning with the 1 inch, but the 1 inch will give you a lot more curl. Just like that. I thought I was gonna use the two inch, but I think because I know you're fine textured, I'm gonna use the the one inch so you have a little more curl. Okay. Can't wait to see the finish. <laughs> you have to call your eye. Yeah. I, you think that's something you done? You told your husband you're getting a relaxer? Yeah. What did he say? I think he, he likes the long hair, you know, the straight hair. Look, mm, so. Okay. So you gonna love it. But my sister, she's like, don't do it. <laughs> Is she natural? <laughs> yes, that's why. <laughs> she needs you to stay natural with her. I could do it.
here. Like you done, done? Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's like, cause he like, he's like, put on FaceTime. <laughs> Just don't let him play in your hair too long, okay? Your curls will fall flat. Then. Cause all he gonna wanna do is touch it. Mm -hmm. And then your curls go poof, and then you're done. That was a lot of reasons. Yes. On her comment, it was a lot of reasons why I was prolonging them. Oh, she's, oh, read it for me because I'm trying to. She says, I've debated a plan for easier maintenance. I've loved both, but I've been natural for years now. This has me itching to get a perm and leave my daughters natural. But mm -hmm. I just made, kept it because it's like, oh, it's been so long. I might as well keep going, but no. <laughs> Listen, I am I am for whatever you are for. Mm -hmm. You cry, you sweating. Yes. <laughs> um, I am for whatever you are for when it comes to hair. I'm not team relaxer. I'm not anything. It's whatever works for you. And I tell people all the time, if you go natural just to cover it up so you can say that you are natural, that is a waste of time. If you know that you cannot maintain that natural hair, get a relaxer. There is no judgment here. And stop worrying about what people are going to say because they don't care either. They will leave you and go do something. True. This is your hair. You have to maintain it. You have to love it. I tell people all the time, I don't want to be natural. I don't aspire to be natural. I don't care about being natural. It is not for me. Even though I'm a hair care person, that doesn't mean that you have to be natural to have great hair. No, you can have great hair as long as you take care of it. And I know a lot of natural people with some jacked up hair. sweating I sweat just to put a diaper on my son it is the craziest thing so now you guys see that I can curl using my smooth by EHC so you can curl you can flat iron it works all the same it's a flick of the wrist Giving, no, it's not a weave, it's her. <laughs> All right, we're gonna spray her with a little bit of goddess polish. 
And then we're gonna finish her off with some Sebastian Shaper, just to keep her hair nice and curly for as long as we can. I'm gonna keep it off her face because she's sweating a lot. So I'm gonna push it behind your ear for now. When you cool down, then you can pull it forward. Okay. you guys so we are all done doing half Thank you, mom. um your next appointment two to three weeks it would be a protein treatment okay okay thank you all right mama have a good weekend if you want to wait here for your husband so you ain't out there in the elements he said stand outside how to get here yeah i, I get it Oh, they said it's beautiful. Thank you. All right, let me fix the front part of this hair. Hello? How far are you? I said, how far are you? Okay. Thank you guys. Hello. So because I'm sweating, I'm going to put it like that because I'm sweating now. Welcome, Mama. Have a good weekend, okay?
me get cleaned up. Don't forget, you guys, this weekend is the $10 serum and shampoo sale. So our Soothe and Balance, our Soothe and Balance pre-treatment as well as our Elite Clarify is $10 this weekend. cleaned up and we're going to head on out of here get myself back here tomorrow I'll see everybody tomorrow I will see if I'm coming on live or not I'm not sure but I hope everybody has a good rest of your day I hope you guys enjoyed the work with me today please don't forget as I said that the um, $10 serum and shampoo sale is going on this weekend no code is needed. Go to EliteHairCareUSA.com. I cut it off my ears because I don't like stuff on my ears. 
Thank you guys. Thank you, Isha. I love everybody. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.